Hi everyone, Flavia here with the Jewelry Talk and today we're going to focus on the difference between gold-plated, gold vermeil and solid gold. Let's find out. Gold-plated. Gold-plated means a metal like brass. It's covered with a thin layer of gold. It's put into a bath of gold. Well, that layer isn't really thick. Well, the thickness is measured in microns. If we give an example, a human hair, an average human hair has 50 microns. And if we think of a gold-plated item, it's gonna have half a micron. What? Gold-plated, it has a nice color and it's only a fraction for, from the price of pure gold. But how long it's gonna last? Gold vermile. Gold vermeil, it's a little bit different than gold plated because the base metal is sterling silver instead of brass. So you have better quality and endurance. It's gonna be, it's gonna have a longer durability. Well, a great color as well. So this is used for fashion and custom jewelry uh, with a little bit more value. It's a perfect combination of a good price and a good quality. Gold, now pure gold we know that it has no impurities, so no alloy in it. What is alloy? Alloy is a mixture of different metals. But did you know that alloying gold, it actually increases the hardness and the tensile strength. The tensile strength is the property of a metal that can withstand of stretching, the maximum stretching force. And the hardness of the metal, it's actually how well it resists to scratches and dents is the same rule that applies to gemstones and diamonds. Now, well, we know there are 14 carats, 18 carats, 24 carat gold. That's why so many people, especially in the United States, they prefer the 14 carats because it's stronger. It has a better hardness. Of course, gold has a great color and a great luster, great durability. Of course, it's increasing in price, but it's increasing in value as well. There you go. Those are the differences in between gold-plated, gold vermeil and solid gold. See you soon.